हेलो फ्रेंड्स वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल टू माय चैनल वर्ल्ड ऑफ जोलॉजी वी ऑलरेडी वी हैव फिनिश थ्री पॉइंट्स फ्रॉम द वंडर्स ऑफ जोलॉजी एंड नाउ वील स्टार्ट विद द फोर्थ वन दैट इज नथिंग बट रिजनरेशन इन एनिमल्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज रिजनरेशन रिजनरेशन इज वन ऑफ द प्रोसेस इन विच If an organism is cut into several pieces, each of its part grows to original state. This process is carried out by specialized cells called stem cells. It takes place in organisms that have a very simple structure with very few specialized cells. In animals, which are Um, lowly evolved such as sponges belonging to phylum porifera the power of regeneration is great in these animals compared with the specialized cells bearing higher groups of the animals such as chordata the cells divide quickly into large number of cells each cell undergo changes to form various cell types and then tissues this sequential process of changes is known as development the tissues form various body parts and organs therefore we can summarize the process or define it as a process by which a lost or injured part of an organism is reform or the formation of a whole organism occurs from a small part the power of regeneration decreases as the complexity of the organization of animal increases that means if we consider lowly evolved animal for example bath sponge and if we squeeze the animal and convert it into number of fragment from each piece entire sponge colony can be developed within month or within a year also but if we consider the complexity of the organization in highly evolved animals such as chordata or we can take example of the human being the power of regeneration goes on decreasing and it restricts for the regeneration of the certain organs within the body such as skin liver etc we'll consider regeneration with respect to earthworm first that belongs to phylum annelida and class oligochaeta earthworm have a considerable power of regeneration by which they produce segments that are either lost or damaged but this ability is limited the transverse division of the body part takes place in the in case of earthworm these are metamerically segmented animals and each transfer part can develop into entire animal body it develop organs accordingly the posterior part of the body can be produce more easily compared with the anterior structure which is complex therefore posterior portion is regenerated as a faster rate than the anterior region and can be and may which may be attributed to fewer complexity in the posterior region it is observed that the body of the earthworm is divided into three parts the dark portion which is known as clitellum and the sexual organs are not regenerated also the clitellum is not regenerated the anterior part 
of the clitellum is known as preclitellum clitellar region then clitellum and third part is known as post clitellar region that is after clitellum it is observed that undifferentiated totipotent cells migrate to the site of injury directed by the nerve cord they said the said cells undergo mitotic division to produce the missing parts in the region the number of segments regenerated is usually less as compared to the number of segments lost by the animal in regeneration the wounded surface first seals and then a blastema of tissue is formed over the wound the blastema is contributed by the mesoderm and is covered by the cells from the ectoderm hormones from the brain then help to create regenerative structures within that blastema region another interesting aspect of regeneration is the importance of nerves nervous system and how it regenerate by itself Okada in 1934 has found that a new head may be induced to form at any level in the body by transduction of nerve cord regeneration is dependent on the presence of nervous tissue when the nerve cord is severe just behind the subpharyngeal ganglion what we call term it as the cephalic ganglion and the nerve cord hook out of the hole from the sides of the body a lateral head and a few anterior segments are formed as you know that the nerve ring in the earthworm consist of the supra and subpharyngeal ganglion which are connected by the connective here we observe the three parts that is one near to the head then second one near to the clitellar region and last one is the tail region if we cut the animal into three segments the three segments when they the segments are transversely cut the metameric segmentation develop with respect to the lost part and the particular regions are regenerated say for example part near to the head shows the regeneration of the posterior region or posterior part of the body then middle piece develop in both the direction in the anterior as well as posterior and the third tail segment shows growth in the anterior direction only here we observe the head region that is what we term is prostomium then pygidium and that shows development in opposite direction that means cephalic region or the head region shows development of the posterior part at the same time the ns ns containing pygidium shows the growth in the anterior direction and the two earthworms are formed the difference color differentiation can and uh, dark color shows the regenerated part of the earthworm body here as uh, as we know that the um earth form that belongs to the class oligochaeta and phylum annelida shows metameric segmentation and this segmentation is true segmentation also the organs within the body of the animal they are segmentally arranged the region which is previously explained by me which is preclitellar region before clitellum and the posterior part is known as post clitellar region up to that extends up to anus and then clitellum which is thick muscular part which is specially developed for the um, secretion of the cocoon that covers the egg or forms the egg case 
now we'll consider the, the several openings which are present on the dorsal side of the animal as well as on the ventral side the dorsal pores which are situated and also the openings of the ct are there whereas on the ventral side um, first one the spermatical openings which are in between the segment number 6 and 7 7 and 8 and 8 and 9 and openings of the oviduct at the segment number 14 and on the 18 openings of the vas difference where the animals these animals are monoecious thus the re regeneration in case of the earthworm is very simple a asexual reproductive process we can say because the fragmentation of the animal takes place in the transverse plane and each part can develop the last part but remember that the number of segments which are produced by the animal during regeneration process are less number compared with the number of segments lost by the animal now we'll start with the another point or the another example of the regeneration in case of the wall lizard that belongs to the phylum chordata and class reptilia in case of the wall lizard autotomy or self amputation is the behavior whereby an animal sheds or discard one or more of its own body appendages usually for self defense purpose to elude a predator's grasp or to distract the predator and thereby allow to escape the animal the lost body part is regenerated later. The new section will contain cartilage rather than the regenerating vertebrae. In many species of lizards, the tail vertebrae are incompletely ossified in a zone midway across the vertebra. If the tail is seized, the vertebrae separate at one of these breaking points and the animal scuttles to freedom and lost part is regenerated over a period of few weeks. The autotomous tail is characterized by various structural adaptations which help minimize blood loss and trauma to the adjacent tissues. The early phase of wound healing involves a leukocytic response but it is limited to inflammation. Regeneration begins with the formation of the blastema which is nothing but mass of proliferating mesenchymal cells possessing capacity to develop the lost part. As the blastema expands, it is invaded by the blood vessels and the spinal cord. It is also form, found that at, uh, at least 326 genes at a specific spot along the tail were turned on during a regeneration process. That means the recipe for the synthesis of that particular part is actually hidden in that segment of the DNA. The skin of the regenerated part generally differs distinctly in color and also in the texture from its original appearance which is shown in the next diagram and it is a phenomena seen in hemidectyl like jacos and shings. Here in case of the hemidectyl is the differentiation of the color is observed uh, sharply that is the dark part of the hemidectylis and the remaining part of the body which is faint one. Then here also in uh, another diagram the, the color differentiation is shown uh, very distinctly that is tail region is different in one it is darker and in another it is faint compared with the other body part. Now we will consider the next point that is which organisms can show regeneration or possess power to regenerate. Regeneration occur in organisms like hydra flatworms, tapeworms, they have highly adaptive regenerative capabilities 
which uh, when an organism is wounded its cells are activated and the damaged tissues and organs are remolded back to the original state regeneration is very prominent among metagens that is multicellular organisms starfish crayfish reptiles and amphibians also exhibit signs of the tissue regeneration it is not the same as a reproduction which is different from the reproduction in case of the higher animals in some animals such as lizard the shed limb regrows into a original organ regeneration can happen in many different ways using pluripotent stem cell some regenerations do not requires stem cells after amputation that is cutting the stem cells accumulate at the site of the injury the cells then start dividing to form the missing tissue but not all animals use the pluripotent cells for regeneration and uh, actually the four uh, types of uh, regeneration processes are there in the animal regeneration in case of the human being can human being regenerate is the question regeneration is a process also visible in case of the human being our skin get renewed from time to time without knowing us the liver also has ability to regrow if a part of the liver is damaged due to some disease but remember that here in case of the liver hepatic cells they show same type of uh, cell formation that means the cells are specialized and they are well defined at the time of their cell division thus we see regeneration as a integral part of healing in case of the human human being thus we consider the process of regeneration with the help of the two animals one that is first one known as earthworm and the second one known as uh, hemidactylis or wall lizard the concept of regeneration is very simple that is loss part of the animal body or the entire animal body can be formed from the single piece of the animal the process is known as regeneration and which is also a sort of asexual reproduction in case of lower animals but if we consider the metagens or highly complex animals the entire organism is not developed from a fragment share this video for the benefit of the maximum students and thanks for watching my lecture or the video subscribe my lecture for the benefit of the maximum students once again thank you all